Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, I stand in Karbala. I stand in the land of Abi Abdullah al Hussein, peace be upon him, Sayyid al Shuhada. I stand in the paradise of Imam al Hussein and Mufadl al Abbas, peace be upon him. Here today we are at the maqam of Mawlai Mufadl al Abbas, in which where his hand was cut off, where his hand went slashed. Abu Fadl al Abbas ibn Amir al Mu'mineen. Abu Fadl al Abbas was known for his courage. Abu Fadl al Abbas was known for his piety. Abu Fadl al Abbas was known for his kindness and generosity. Abu Fadl al Abbas is from the four sons of Umm al Banin from Uthman, Ja'far, Abdullah, and Abbas. And one of Abbas's names was Gumar bani Hashim, the moon of bani Hashim, as well as Saqi Atasha Karbala, the one who used to quench the thirst of the people in Karbala. Abu Fadl al-Abbas, and this location is where Abu Fadl al-Abbas came and had his hands cut off. It is narrated in the books of Maqatib that here in this location is where the right hand of Abu Fadl al-Abbas was slashed. After all the companions of Imam al-Hussein, peace be upon them, were martyred and killed and went as shuhada in Karbala, Abu Fadl al-Abbas came to his brother. He said, Ya Akha, ati'aduna li lidduhul? Ya Akha, O oh brother, do you give me permission to leave? Do you give me permission to go and fight these munafiqeen, these hypocrites? Imam al Hussein told him, Ya Abu Fadl al-Abbas, you are the holder of my banner. You are the flag bearer. How can you leave? If you leave, my army will disunite. So he told him, Ya Akhi, Ya Abu Fadl al-Abbas, go and bring water for the children. Ask the qawm, ask the munafiqeen, maybe they have mercy to give water for the children. Abu Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, went and he went to the army of Umar ibn Sa'ad and he asked them, these children are dying of thirst and what is the crime of these children? What is the crime that these children do not have any water? Of course, they rejected Abu Fadl al-Abbas' offer and they did not give him water. He came back to the tent of Ibn Abdul al Hussein to the Khaim again. He came to the tent and he heard Sukaina and the Atfal saying, Wa ya Atasha, Atasha. Abu Fadl al-Abbas, this hurt him very much. So he said, I'm going to go to Nahr al-Furat and grab some water. He left the Khaymaga, he left the tent. When he left the tank, he took with him a Qurba, the leather skin in which water is placed in it. And with him he took his spear, and on his horse, Abu Fadl al-Abbas ran from the Khayma all the way to Nahr al-Furat. When he came to the Nahr, it was blockaded by thousands of shoulders. It says about 4,000 soldiers blocked the area where the Nahar was. After that, he fought his way through to get to the Nahar. And when he came close to the water, he took some of the water in his hand. He felt the coldness of the water in his hands. When he felt the coldness of the water in his hands, Salamullahi alayhi, he remembered the thirst of Abi Abdullah al Hussein, peace be upon him. He remembered the thirst of Sukaina. He remembered the thirst of Ruqayya and of Zainab and Fatima al Sughra. He remembered their thirst and he threw the water on his head and he said, This is not from my religion that I drink water before my children, before my brother, before my nephews and nieces. So he took and he filled the qurba with water. When he filled the qurba with water, he head out in the battlefield. He came from Nahr al Furat and he came to this location around here. He started fighting and fighting and fighting. He started fighting the warriors. He killed many warriors. And of course, the La'een came from behind a palm tree and he struck Abu Fadl al-Abbas's right hand and here at this location it is narrated in the books of Maqatil by Al-Khawarizmi and others in this location the hand of Abu Fadl al-Abbas may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him was cut here is where he lost his right hand as you can see the location here towards the Khaymaga is about a kilometer and from here towards the Nahr is about a kilometer now inshallah now that we are done here we're going to go move towards where the left hand of Abu Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, was cut to finish the story of the Maqtal. With me now. Dear viewers, so we continued from the right hand of Fadl al-Abbas where his hand was cut. As you can see from this maqam here, until the maqam which is located about 200 meters north of where I am, is where the left hand of Fadl al-Abbas was cut. 
And this location here is where the left arm of Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, was cut. Now, as you can see, this is a mazar. The visitors come, millions of visitors, millions and millions every year come and visit this maqam and pay tribute and blessings to this maqam. After Abbas عليه, had his right hand cut, he recited the beautiful words of poetry. That even if you are to cut my right hand, I will continue to serve and protect my religion. This here instilled fear in the enemy's hearts from the words of Fadl Abbas, peace be upon him. Merely just his words, his words caused the enemies to be in fear. But of course, he on his horse, 200 meters, carrying the qurba in his left hand, carrying the leather in his left hand, an enemy by the name of Hakim ibn Tufayl. He came from behind Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon him, and cut off his left hand. And this moqaf here, this site here, is where Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon him, had his left hand cut off. He took the qirba, he took the leather pouch, and placed it in his mouth, and he began riding his horse. And this is when the enemy saw a perfect chance. I'm going to shoot my piercing arrow in this qarba so that the children of Abdullah al-Hussein, so that Sakina, Ruqayya, Fatima, and Abi Abdullah do not get a single drop of water. And this piercing arrow came and it shot the qarba and it went through the heart of Fadl al-Abbas, salam Allah alayhi, and the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And this incident here, this incident is when Abu Fadl al-Abbas felt so much pain because he felt, he felt so much grief. He said, how am I going to go back to the khayma and that I have no water to give Sakina. I have no water to give Ruqayya. This pained him very much. And of course, this is when Al-La'een ibn Al-La'een Al-Mal'oon came and hit him with an iron mace, an iron pillar on this head. And that is what Al Fadl Abbas, salam Allahi alayhi, for the first time in his life, instead of calling, calling Imam Al-Hussein by master, he said, Ya Akhi, Ya Akhi, Ya Aba Abdullah, my brother, please come to my aid. And he said that in this incident, my back has been broken. It is narrated now that Imam Al Hussein salam Allahi alayhi, came to the body of his brother, Abu Fadl Abbas. He threw himself on the body. He began to hug his brother. And Imam Al Hussein said, Al an in kasar dahri. Al an, truly my back has been broken, and literally his back was broken. He had to carry, he had to carry the body of Fadl Abbas salam Allahi alayhi, all the way to the khaymah, all the way to the tent. Now imagine. Abu Fadl Abbas here, and he had to carry his brother one kilometer almost all the way to the khayma. Imagine carrying your brother from here, cut in pieces, to the tents. And that's when Sukaina said, where is my uncle Abbas? Where is my uncle Abbas? Zainab alayhi salam says, where is my kafil Abbas? Who is going to represent me? Who is going to take care of me? And this is the reason that Abu Fadl Abbas, salam Allah alayhi, I stand right now 200 meters away from his holy shrine, Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, Imam al-Sadiq salam allahi alayhi, Ja'far ibn Muhammad, peace be upon him. When he stands at the door of Fadl al-Abbas, he says, Salam Allah wa salamu malaikatihi al-muqarrabeen. The salam, the peace, greetings of Allah, the greetings of his favorite angels, wa anbiya'ihi al-mursaleen wa ibadihi al-salihin. His commissioned prophets, his pious servants, this is the kalam of Imam al Sadiq. Here in Karbala, he stood and he said, Salamullah, wa salamu malaikatihi al muqarrabin wa al biyahi al mursaleen. The salam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels and the pious ones. And now we say, As salamu alayka ya Abu Fadl al Abbas. Peace be upon you. Peace be upon your brother and peace be upon those that were martyred in the land of Karbala. My dear viewers, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.